Hello everyone, it's Jack from Visual Effects Hut and today we're going to try and make a campfire scene using a VDB volume. Um, the site's got a lot more popular and also getting these volumes and actually doing it, putting them in a scene rather than just rendering them on a black background is nice. So we'll plonk it here. So first we need to go to Redshift down and create a volume. There's already one in the scene for fog. But we'll just go for just one of the frames and not bother with the animation settings. Um, once we've done that, we need to create a volume material. Drag that volume material onto the volume. Edit shader graph. Um, then we need to go to that actual volume and change the scatter to flames and the emission to flames too. Then I'm going to position it and rotate it into the right place. So redshift's quite fast, but for volumes it's still pretty slow. So um, make sure that you have it in object mode if you want to scale up or down a volume. Plunk it in the scene. Obviously there's no wood, um, so it's just a fire floating on the ground, but we're just showing that like you can do it and set exposure right and that sort of thing. We need to make this a bit more perfect. Jump into the shader graph again. It's weird using one window. Um, and then we'll go down to the emission and change the color to like an orangey red fire red. Cool. And then we'll change this value between 10 and 12, depending on the volume, but in this case, 12 is good. Um, you can adjust the ramp as well and you can adjust this to help the density of that fire. Adjusting the ramp for a good highlight roll off is quite nice. Like I've seen people put characters in front of these um, and yeah, and the, bl the blocky but the fire wraps around the model nicely so that's quite a cool little trick. So it's like backlit from the camera. Yeah, so it emits and it gives off a nice gradient path of red. It looks good on them rocks. It probably looks a bit clunky because I'm using um, optics denoiser. Just so it looks presentable fast. Now to just complement this, we'll create an area light. Put it in location. And pick the fire color. It's a bit clunky using this IPR window thing. But, um, so yeah, it's obviously way too bright for such a little fire. So we just need to go down here and change the exposure of that light subtle and then that just gives it a nice warm look to the whole image and like that fire is casting as far as that because you probably would in real life because there's no other light source in this image apart from the moon which is giving off a blue from the left so if you used to ramp up the exposure of the camera you probably would see that the orange is being cast on them on the man and the horse but yeah, you can play with this value and make it fluctuate over time and make it flicky yourself. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this and I'll catch you on the next one.